So, so I know we're on the, the, the countdown here for 61 and 62 for Aaron Judge, and hopefully seeing a lot of resurgence from Giancarlo Stanton and some other players. But there are some bright spots here in the Yankees that, you know, showing me at least that they're starting to roll a little bit. I mean, we've gotten some wonderful production from a lot of players and consistent production from a lot of players. But some of the good news, I mean, with Luis Severino coming back yesterday, that was good news. Gave us five innings of one-run ball. And there's four relievers now in, tri in AAA that can come back. I think one of them might be coming back today. They optioned Greg Weissert out last night um, back to AAA. So I'm expecting somebody like probably Scott Efrost or something like that to come back up. Zach Britton's a little bit different because he's not on the 40-man right now. So somebody would have to be DFA'd in order to get him up here. So that's a little bit of a different roster move. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, right? we got Miguel Castro, and we also got some good news on Matt Carpenter. His x-rays are clean. They're going to start ramping up baseball activity. So there's a shot that he and Andrew Benatendi might be coming back. At the end of the year, they might be activated for a playoff series. We don't know yet, but it's encouraging news. But – Speaking of last night, I mean, two really, really, really bright spots, right? Take a look. High drive, right field, going back, see ya! What team hit grand slams in consecutive innings? Oswaldo Cabrera, the Wizard of Oz. He grand slams to right center. Drilled to right field, that ball is high. It is far, it is gone. It's Glaber Day. Glaber homers into the right field seat. High fly ball, deep left. Sawinski back, turning, looking, see ya. A two home run inning for Glaber Torres, a three run shot, and it's 14 to two. I mean, <laughs> with these guys playing, Oswaldo Cabrera has been a breath of fresh air, and his power starting to be come around too. And Glaber Torres has been hot recently, so it's going to be really interesting to see what they do when guys like uh, DJ LeMahieu come back. How are they going to play him now with these guys hot? You know, it's going to be really pretty tough. And they're, they're even having a hard time squeezing in Oswald Peraza into the lineup. He's getting some pinch hit duty, pinch running duty, and blah, blah, blah. It would be nice to see him a little bit more. But like, these guys are on a roll, right? And the team is starting to get healthy little by little. There's still, I think, 10 or 12 guys that are on the IL that need to come back. So, but this team is starting to come around and getting healthy at the right time. I mean, they really, really are. They're 90 and 58 now. Yankees won their 90th last night. There's 14 games left in the season. We're going to see some more guys. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Please hit the smash that subscribe button. Just pound it if you haven't done that yet. That way you don't miss news in, in terms of Yankee world. And, you know, and especially with uh, corresponding roster moves, this, that, everything that comes out, I put out. So, like, later on, we're going to see some kind of roster move uh, take place before, you know, before the game tonight against Boston because they're going to make a, a roster uh, spot for somebody since they sent Craig Weiser down. So he was the triple A closer. He was, he was solid up here. But like Lou Trevino has been good. And like a lot of these other guys have been quietly good, but there's still a bunch of reinforcements yet to have been up here for quite a while. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the Yankees do over the next couple of weeks for the season. Um, you know, and most particularly, I mean, Harrison Bader's back now. He's playing like he, like he never left. Like he never missed a beat. He fits right in, right in. I'm curious to see if Ben Attendee comes back. You know, I'm 50-50 on that one. Um, but the, it's the bullpen guys that I think, you know, Miguel Castro and Britton and, and some of these other guys that are probably going to make the most impact. And then I still, the bullpen is still a little shaky in some areas. So they have some guys that can make an impact. What they do here is really going to determine how they're going to set up their postseason. It sounds like Eric Cole has been slated for game one of whatever playoff game they play, according to last night. But everything else is starting to fall into place, guys and gals. You let me know what you think. I mean, are they rolling? Are you happy with it? What else do you think? What else do you need to see to feel good about the Yankees' postseason chances and their chances to win this division? There's a magic number of one last night to clinch the playoffs. I think it's now 10 or 9 to clinch the division. And that's the one. That's the one they're going for. Okay. That makes it a lot easier for them to not have to play a wild card, one game, like sudden death wild card. At least they'll get a three game series or something. <laughs> No, a five-game series, excuse me, to play some games and win some games. So that's the one that's um, really going to be interesting to me, and I would be going right into the wire. And I think that could be a reason why they're not playing Oswald Peraza right now. The one is the hot guys in there. Yeah, I can't blame them. And I think winning division will be a really, really, really 
good thing for the Yankees to do, especially since they've been holding it pretty much all year. So let's get into it, gang. Talk to you later.